Hello and welcome to SBA TV. I'm Gary John Paul Faulkner. And I'm Marcus J. Richardson. Manchester United, Chelsea, already at this early stage of the season, a massive tie! Chelsea have started the season now, right, but they're getting the results. Manchester United have started the season in explosive fashion. 18 goals to three against in the first four games. Now, Marcus, have you got an idea what could possibly happen at Old Trafford? I actually think this is the sort of game that Chelsea might win. Now, I know a lot of you are looking at me thinking, what a donkey he must be. I'm from Blackpool. I grew up with donkeys. I know what a donkey looks like. I'm not one. I genuinely think Chelsea have got a chance. People are saying that United are going to be unstoppable this season. And I do agree, but in one-off fixtures on any given Sunday, who knows what could happen. But I'm not going to go for a bet on Chelsea to win. I'm going to go for a draw, no bet Chelsea win, which means... If it's a draw, mm -hmm. you get your money back. Ah! Odds of 3.1 for a draw, no bet, Chelsea win. So if Chelsea win, you win. If they draw, you get your money back. Not a bad little shout there. I don't think that's going to happen in the slightest. United are looking unstoppable. Yes, they are playing Chelsea, but I don't think AVB has got the tactical news that Mourinho had. So I don't think he's going to know how to stop them. I don't think anyone knows how to stop them right now, apart from maybe one team in the world. United are going to win 1.85 at Paddy Power. But... We've got to talk about Wayne Rooney, because he is the man of the moment. Eight. Two hat-tricks on the trot. Two hat-tricks on the trot. Can he get a third? I don't think he's going to get the third, so I wouldn't, get, I wouldn't stick a bet on him getting the third. But I do think he will score. You can get odds of 2.35 for Wayne Rooney to score at any time in this match. Or, if you think he's going to get two or more, so two, three, four, five, six, six to one, I think, with William Hill. Not a bad shout for him to score two or more, but to be honest, Gazza, I still think Chelsea might nick it. This Saturday, the early kickoff on Sky is Blackburn Rovers versus Arsenal at Ewood Park. Now, Gary, are they going to continue to win? Um, I don't think so. If you look back to our prediction last week, we both said it's going to be a draw. In fact, I think we said nil-nil, whereas a lot of our bloggers at sbatv.tv, check it out, lots of Arsenal bloggers on there, were predicting 5 nil, 6 nil, 7 nils. There was even an 8 nil prediction on there. Now, come on, guys, get serious. We would have been right if it wasn't for Vorm's inability to throw the ball past his own player. So, what do you think the result's going to be then, Gazza? Nil-nil! Nil-nil! Or possibly one all. Arsenal are really struggling at the moment. Blackburn are really struggling at the moment. Black, but Ewood Park could be a difficult place to go. They're going to look to get physical, physical with Arsenal and hold them off. It's going to be a draw. Come on, Blackburn! 3.6! Right, you can get odds off with Bodog. 3.6 for the draw. There you go, guys. So, 3.6 if you do fancy a draw. Gary thinks it might be nil-nil, might be 1-1. One, one. But just go for the draw. 3.6, Bodog. Either way, under 2.5 goals. Today we're going to look at the colossal clash happening on Sunday afternoon at White Hart Lane between Gary Spurs... Come on, you Spurs! ...and my Liverpool... Tottenham struggled at the start of the season, but they did beat Wolves at the weekend. Gary, can they continue that fall? I think they can, Marcus. We've got that monkey off our back by getting the three points on the board by beating Wolves away from home. No mean feat. We have played the two toughest teams in the Premiership at the minute, and after Man U's destruction of Bolton at the weekend, I can't, don't think anyone can say that that was a bad result. Now... Adebayo got off to a great start by scoring on his debut, but he's one of these types of players who, when things are going well, he will play well for you. If things are going poorly, then he will be a right old miserable so-and-so and, -so and probably cause some splits in the ranks. Hopefully, it will be the former and not the latter. What about you, Marcus? How are Liverpool going to get on in this game? In your thoughts. Well, having lost to Stoke at the weekend, we do need to bounce back. We haven't started as well as everybody's making out. Everybody's like, oh, Liverpool are doing great. I mean, we started the first game of the season against Sunderland, drawing one all. We were appalling in the second half. We've not done as well as everyone's making out. Now, for me, I think this one will probably be a draw. But if you do fancy Liverpool, you can get odds of 2.7 with Paddy Power for Liverpool to win. But for me, the bet is Suarez or Adibayor to score first. You can get odds on Suarez to score first at sevens or Adibayor to score first at sevens. Or, if you fancy one of them to get a hat trick, they're both available at 40 to 1. Oh, those are big odds. Big odds for a reason, though. I personally think this, this fixture is going to end 2 1 to Spurs. Spurs are going to get those three points that we need. But the reason I say 2 1, the past three years at White Hart Lane, this fixture has finished 2 1 to Spurs. It's going to be 2 1 again. You can get on to 10.5 at Unibet for 2 1 to Spurs. Or, if you
you just think Spurs are going to win it, which I do, 2.75 will bet 3.65. There you go, guys. Now, remember the draw, which I predicted 3.4 with Bodog or Gary's 2-1 victory to Spurs at 10.5s with Unibet. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember, go to sbatv.tv for all our blogs for the championship teams and premiership teams. Come on, you Spurs!